Howdy. Welcome back to Mad Cardigan. Uh, it's currently 5.30 in the morning and I have four dogs sitting here staring at me thinking it's time for them to be fed even though that's two hours away. Uh, let's continue with our Hogwarts Legacy playthrough with accused wish ever. This is Georgia Pumpkin. Uh, back in the uh, Hogwarts common room, or I'm sorry, in her, her sleeping chambers. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on out here. Find the common room, sounds easy enough. Uh, from the last video, I know I forgot to uh, mention the trivia question that I was talking about. Um, Phineas Black, the headmaster in this game, um, was related to a character from the movie Sirius Black. Uh, what was his relation? I'm going to answer that in the uh, chat. And uh, the first person that uh, answers it correctly in the chat, I'll mention uh, during the beginning of the next video. How does that sound? I know. Fame and fortune, right? Okay, let's see if I can find a way down the stairs, the biggest challenge I've faced so far. Here we go. Watering all this should be a nightmare. Good Lord. Hope everyone's doing okay out there. I said I won't talk through the cutscenes. Some very talented people uh, made this game, and uh, they need to be given a chance to tell the story instead of me. Uh, let's talk to Lenora, playing with an owl. Okay. Oh, hello. She's awfully regal, isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know whose she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait, you're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself, especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. Hmm, I don't know anything about this. Let's say I do have a lot to catch up on. I am a bit concerned. I have a lot of catching up to do. Indeed. Four years of schoolwork is a bit... Being that far behind, I'd feel so... inadequate. Of course, presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hard-working too, as you might suspect. But sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenora Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You've such a lot to do. Okay, self-hating Raven, or self-hating Hufflepuff, actually. Let's see what this is about. Do you really think you should have been in Ravenclaw? Well, my brothers were. They both work in the ministry now. I suppose you could say that wit runs in the family. My aunt was a Gryffindor, though, and I've always had plenty in common with her. Determination, valor, daring. The old sorting hat was spoiled for choice with me. She is not lacking in confidence, that's for sure. Okay, nice to meet you. It was nice meeting you, Lenora. Of course. Adieu. 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 Indeed. All right. Arthur's got you in trouble with a cat. Ah, one of my viewers has requested that I pet all cats in this game. Uh, so here it looks like the first interaction. Or at least uh, the first division of one, so. Little cat. Talk to Mr. Plumley here. Uh, I can't quite reach. Uh, come on, you went that way. Hope they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find your way all right. I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No, one of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them, especially magical ones. 
Mm, that's the reason I'm here, so let's see. I'm sorry to hear that. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. Best thing about coming to Hogwarts. Nifflers, Glumbumbles, Bowdruckles. I thought they were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did bring home a puff skin once. Mum was furious. <laughs> anyway, I'd better go make sure the first year's caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. All right, have you ever had a have pet? Have you ever had a pet, Arthur? No. My mother's a muggle, and as soon as the puff skein that my dad brought home stuck its tongue up her nose, it went right back to the shop. <laughs> I would have probably sent it back too. Nice meeting you, Arthur, and good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. Well, that's definitely going to happen. This is a big place. Uh, what is this young lady doing? Oh. Adelaide. Oh, Uncle, this doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. But anyone else like oh, hello there. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me, I've been hearing all sorts of rumors. Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? Ah. Uh... Sure. That one is true. Not the typical start to a new school. That's dreadful. Well, I'm glad you made it here alive. Well, anyway, I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. Well, let's ask about her uncle. Are you sure everything is all right with your uncle? Oh, yes. He travels for work, always busy. I'm sure he just wrote it in a rush. Um, nothing to worry about. All right, nice meeting Thank you. Thank you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Of course, and good luck. Is the new Hufflepuff out of bed yet? She Professor is. Professor Weasley's waiting for them outside the common room. to shop in the house. I'm too all right. I'm to out alone with all that's going on. Really like this common room. Life seems Goes rather wandering dull. around, nice. Okay, so back out the door, back out the barrel. Oh, Professor Good morning. Okay. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls. Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Cheat sheet. Here you are. Oh, this thing's broken. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. I'm nothing and not wise. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. All right, walking. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. I right, certainly another chest. would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. He's quick.
I don't know how y'all walk in these skirts. Simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. All right, Revelio. Revelio. Isn't it? All right. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Good morning. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Get one you of those in my house. Anywhere in the castle, quickly from Back Central and forth Hall. from the bathroom. Always oh, something get a book loose. Here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. If you pay attention, the of useful advice. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Okay, let's start at the bottom and work our way up. What is Hogsmeade? You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Oh, we drink here. Nice. Okay. What is the Dark Arts? Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. And the charms what class. Learning charms class. Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. You'll never get anything out of me. Okay, I'm gonna tell you anyway. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins, and mm, I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. 
You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. All right. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? Well, I'm a good girl, so... She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Okay, thank you, Professor. On our way around. Okay, a charmed compass. Oh, yep, that's going to be handy. Especially for someone like me. A game goof, that's for sure. Just having a waypoint in a game like this is not enough. Too many levels, too many ups and downs. Ooh, those are a little unnerving. Okay. Looks like this is the place. Is that all you've got? Yeah. Levioso! Professor Hecket! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, 
You may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprise. Spell just saved your life, kid. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now. Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. All right, another spell. Let's fill up this book. Hey, okay. yeah, catch me. Levioso. Not exactly a dragon's head or a skull. Start somewhere, I guess. Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with the basic cost. Cost. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, Pretty good. cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, right. a surprised opponent. Good. Now, the basic. Well done. Not as good as me. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want Let's a go, fair Slytherin. Duel. Using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. <laughs> this should be Feather. 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 And we're so proper and uh, respectful as we're Lucky. casting spells at each other. Lucky Whoa, hang on, okay. <laughs> I do enjoy a lively duel. Oh, yeah. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I didn't get anything. Get it? I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Hufflepuff. Thank you, Professor Heckert. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So. I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. That nice lady is what we call experienced. Very experienced. Okay, we have a waypoint nice here. Work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. You saw what I did to that training dummy a moment ago. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. 
No, I'm a good girl. Unsanctioned? I don't know. School rules are in place for a reason. Yes, to keep students in the dark. So many things we're deemed unprepared to know. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. Interesting friend my uh, professor just suggested for me. Nailed it. Okay, charms. Where are we going? See? I naturally would have gone across the top right there to try to find this thing. It's a good thing only I could see this little trail. If everybody was doing this, this would be a mess in this place. Oh, the ghost fights. We're going to see a lot of these, I bet. And up again. My cardio. Man holding ball. A lot of those around here. Seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing Obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well... It seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Okay. Akio. Oh, Steely Spell. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Outside we go. Ah. 
I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? <laughs> Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this Alrighty. like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Now, I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best professor. Show us how it's done. Take this game. Splendid! Stop. Oh. Don't lose oh. your composure. And they deflate. Insult to injury there. Okay. Oh. Come on. Excellent control there. Okay, I think I got it now. That's it. Ooh, take that. Very good. Points to Hufflepuff. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Good luck, Netsai. Here we go. Uh oh, she's good. There we go. Hmm. About over here. Yeah, let's get that guy. Yeah, not exactly your typical lesson, is it? Oh, she's cheating. She's I blocking mind. me. Don't. Splendid! Yeah. She get extra points for getting closer than she did. Whew. Good try, but not good enough. And release. Ooh, I gotta release a little sooner. I'm well done. teetering on the edge. Don't you touch it. Okay. Plenty of room. Yeah. Release. Boom. A perfect score. Remarkable. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? I think we are oh, well boy. most interesting at this point. <laughs> I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. George is so polite. Be ruthless. There we go. Hmm. Okay. Let's get that one. Time it. There we go. Ah, stop. No, 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 no. Okay. Excellent control. Good job, there. Georgia. Here we go. Don't get it. <laughs> oh, you can keep going. Wow. Phew. Indeed. Let's get the middle one. Right after. Come here. Release. 
Okay, I'm getting that down a little bit better now. Nicely done. Good job, Georgia. Let us see this. Oh, Natsai, you have nothing. Going for the gold. Can't see, Professor. You're a cheater. Still got it. Two perfect rounds. You're a natural. I am. Mad Cardigan is a ball expert. Very good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Another new student, okay. I am glad you understand. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Okay, let's ask about our old school. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Wow. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Looks a lot less silly than using your finger, too. That's weird. Okay. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Okay, this seems like a much better friend to have, much more appropriate than a Slytherin. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course. Later, Natsai. Keep practicing. A word, if you would. If you're so inclined. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Now, why would that side be distracted? Assuming we'll find that out. Classrooms are very pretty. Okay. Let's go ahead and leave. Don't pop into Hello the wall. there. You're the new oh. student, aren't you? Sure am. Hi, Samantha. Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. 
I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day's going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Alrighty. What am I looking at here? What is that? Okay. Paper airplanes flying around. Don't do that here. Like I said, I know the systems in this game, so let's... These things are annoying anyway. I'm going to enjoy catching all of those. Oh, I saw a cat. Okay, this is for the viewer. Kitty, kitty. I'm a dog man myself, but I have nothing against cats. You seem nice. Oh, Lord, they're everywhere. Okay, I'm not going to pet every cat in the game. But since uh, that one saw me pet the other one, I can't be mean. That one's pretty. It looks like a little leopard. Ocelot. Babu. Oh, more ghosts. Oh, whoa, what is going on here? And you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gorgon. Seemed dangerous. Me and that guy are going to have problems. Okay, I'm going to go for all the main quests, obviously, and I'll try to get as many of the side ones as I can. I don't think I'll be able to 100% this game. Uh, I assume that takes a, a whole lot of effort, which, <laughs> yeah, we're not even going to go there. Okay, this cat is leading me to something. Okay, that's math. Uh, I did a couple of these. Okay, it's okay for everybody who doesn't know how to do these. It's uh, numbers. These little creature doodads have a number assigned to them. So if you start at the bottom left, it's zero, and it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to the other side. Uh, do the Revelio, and it'll kind of show you. Okay, and then you're gonna have two little doodads here that uh, you can roll and change the pictures on. And then you have two, looks like math problems uh, on the chalkboard itself. So, uh, mathematic, you're trying to get to the number in the middle. So, the number three and the number zero to get to number five. What does that mean? It means you need to add two. So the question mark would be zero, one, two. The little, I don't even know what to call that. That guy. Yep, that's right. Okay. And then the other one is a 12. Okay, so we have 4. And what is that? That is a unicorn. Okay, so that's a 1. So there's 5. So we need, obviously, a 7. So let's start from this side. 9, 8, 7. Also, I have no idea what that is. A little... Uh, Potato squid. Let's do that. Potato squid. You have to name all these things. Through. Oh, that's the one. Okay. And open sesame. Erase the chalkboard. Boom. Creepy room. These are those things that were pulling the, the horseless carriage. I am not a an expert in Harry Potter by any means. I've recently just watched the movies for the first time. They were well after my time. I did enjoy them, but uh, as far as lore, don't count on me to know the names of everything. However, looting, I am good at. Okay. Collections. Oh, now that's what I'm talking about. New clothes. Let's give it a shot.
Okay. Okay, well, it has more offense, so we will definitely put that on. And a good feature in this game is if you don't like the way something looks, even though it makes your stats better, you can change the appearance of it to anything that you've picked up before, I believe. And actually, a couple more things. There's extra stuff here. Or a nothing at all. Which, you know, Georgia, she's a big stickler for the rules. She wants to remain in, in uh, her school uniform, so that may change, but for now, let's stick with that. Let's check the quests. Okay, that's, okay, that's what uh, the Dark Arts Professor was talking about. Or no, the uh, Slytherin student was telling us to do. I'm not sure if I'm ready to duel a bunch of folks yet. But we can go see uh, Professor Weasley. Let's see what happens when we locate it on the map. Yes, this thing can be a bit confusing. Okay, so the little purple arrow is you right there. And that confusing yellow bunch of dots is supposed to be a line to get down here. As we go along in this game and we unlock these uh, claims, they're going to be like fast travel points so we can get places quicker. But for right now, let's just uh, run and see what we can see. Let's go see Professor Weasley. I do love the Weasleys. That was uh, one thing I definitely remember from the, from the movies. Yeah, once we unlock these things... Ignatia Wildspin. I think her picture's on all of these things. I'm assuming she's the... She talks a lot about inventing the, the flame, so... Who invents fire? Mm, Three-headed dog. I think that was from the first movie or something like it. Yeah, man-holding ball and man-holding book. Those are common themes in this place. I think these things keep moving every time I go, yep, everything moves in this castle. This game is amazing. Oh, another cat, okay. I'll do this for as many times as I can stand it. Don't want to hold up the pace of the game, though. This is for you, viewer. Probably already petted you. You're following me around now. I don't have anything in my pocket. See something on the mini map? There's another one of those flames. Flu flames. Flu flames. Okay, I don't remember that. I keep wanting to call them foo flames. Foo fighters. There's another one. Uh, that's up. up. Okay. Remember, follow your. Okay, hang on. I just saw something over here. So these pages are an excellent way to get experience points and make yourself stronger. Every time I see one of those, I'm going to grab it. You can interact with pretty much everything, but like I said, the pacing of this game, you would be... You could walk around this castle for, for days <laughs> easily looking at stuff. I'm not even going to start casting that reveal spell everywhere. I'll be sidetracked continuously. It's a different, different color. It's like a Siamese. Alright. I see a flame. Grab those when you can. Don't pass them by. Okay, let's go talk to Professor Weasley. What about the room, Professor? I'm thinking the same thing, Deke. <laughs> Plot thickens. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, ah, there you are.
I trust your first classes went well? They, they did, Professor. I, I heard as much from Professors Hackett and Ronan. It seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. It isn't there. This lady's gonna pin me down at every turn. Georgia is a good girl. Let's, let's see if she has any information. Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. I'm trying to get a sonnet from a streamer. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Good. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign you a first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Okay, we have a few options here. Let's, uh, oh, Ollivander, the, the wand guy. Okay, I do remember him. John Hurt played him in the movie. That was an excellent part. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Can you tell me more about the potion shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. All right. Thank you so much, Professor. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Oh, I'm definitely going with Natty. Sebastian's going to get me in trouble. Well, I'm a good girl. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. They really do promote drinking with children in this. I have no problem with that. Okay. Before I walk out this door, we're going to call it a part here. Oh, hang on now. Oh, these are the side assignments. Okay. No problem. Yeah, before we go starting another assignment, uh, we're going to call it a part here. Thank you for joining Mad Cardigan today. And uh, everyone, I'll see you next time. Be good and behave.